back to my channel how are you guys doing today i have my best of 2015 so let's just get into it because there's quite a few things that i want to show you guys <laughs> first thing I'm going to show you are the things that I've been using for my eyebrows. These have become my holy grail items. And it shouldn't surprise anyone, they're from the Anastasia Beverly Hills line. As you all know, she is the brow, um, the brow, I'll say the brow queen diva. Which that doesn't make any sense, but you guys know what I mean. She is the brow queen is what I want to say. And I always either use the powder, the dual one, and the shade that I have is dark brown. And this is what that looks like. And then I also use the dark brown pencil and I have a little mini one because I've gotten a couple of these and I'm just using these first before I actually uh, purchase a full size one but you guys know how much I love them I'm actually using a combination of both of them today and then of course we have to brush it out with this really nice um, dual ended brush this is the number seven brush I absolutely love this is the perfect size it has the angle and then it has a spoolie on the end and it's perfect to throw into your makeup bag and then we top it all off with the brow gel and I'm so sad that this is finish this is actually my i'm gonna say my third two because i had too many ones and then i have this large one and i'm done so i need to get a new one of this but i absolutely love this brow gel it's perfect it sets your eyebrows uh and they don't go anywhere they don't feel crunchy either because i want something that's gonna set them and i'm gonna forget about them and they're not gonna feel hard <laughs> Eyeliner that I used the most this year was the Kat Von D Trooper one and my Tartiste liner. I actually have it in my empties. I forgot to grab that for you, but um, I will have the video for my review down below. Between these two, I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I absolutely love the Tartiste. It's so black and matte. And this is so easy to use, the Kat Von D Trooper one, to draw a very small um, cat eye. I absolutely love both of them. And they are just amazing. So if you're looking for something that's just like um, really easy to do a cat eye with, go with this. But if you want something that's more of a matte finish... Um, and you want to just go like have the option with the brush to either do really dramatic or really light handed however you choose then go with the Tartiste but I absolutely love both of them for putting on my eyeliner and then for eyeshadow bases I've used quite a few this year but these are the ones that I've liked and it's the one from M Cosmetics and this is um, their eyeshadow base I think it's the only one that she has I actually use this all up this was in my empties and I took it out and I absolutely love it I will be repurchasing another one of these I think these are only $15 but I absolutely love them they are are amazing and it kind of reminds me of like if NARS and um, the Urban Decay one the first formula um, combined together then you get like a perfect happy medium so I feel like whether you have oily eyelids or dry eyelids you really benefit from using this one because your eyeshadow doesn't go anywhere and the other one that I've been using is from Lorac. This is the behind the scenes eye primer. I absolutely love that. I actually used it today to do this makeup look. This is like a really good um, foundation for eye makeup as well. And this is Holy Grail status, but I have to mention it. And it's the MAC Paint Pot. And this one is an Utterly Becoming. Um, I know this is not available anymore, but you can use any shade that you want. Um, they have like paint chilies close to this if you want something with a little more pink in it. If you want something more yellow, go with the soft ochre, which that's the next one that I want to try when this one is empty. So that I can see um, how I like that on my eyes. Since we're talking about eyes, let's talk about mascaras. Please excuse how this one looks because this has been in my empties for a while, which I need to film that video. I keep saying that. But this is the Stila St um, Sky High. I think it's called Sky High Mascara. This is $25. I absolutely love this mascara. It gives you... Thickness, volume, length, I absolutely love it. Um, this is what the wand looks like. I don't know if you guys were able to see that or not, but I like it. it's like a cone shape and it definitely give, has some give to it. I don't know if you guys will see that as well. So it's really good for just building up your lashes and I absolutely love this. I will definitely be purchasing this, but what I am doing is I'm trying to use up all the mascaras that I have and I have not purchased any new ones because I want to get through the ones that I have because as you guys know, mascaras get old, but that steel one is amazing. And then this one, you guys should not be surprised. Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Um, I've gotten quite a few of these particular mascara. This is the mystery packaging for the Benefit Roller Lash. When I got it, I used this whole thing up and then I've gotten quite a few of these little mini ones so I think I've gone through like maybe four or five of these and I just got the little me ones so you guys can know what I was talking about but this roller lash one oh, I love 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 this mascara it's definitely going to become like a holy girl one because if I don't use it as a topper like on my top nail on my top nails 
my top eyelashes I definitely love it for my bottom lashes only so like say if I went in with the steeler one but I don't want to use the steeler one on the bottom lashes I'll go in with the royal lash and I just love the look that it gives me so it's definitely something that's going to be holy grail that will be a permanent thing in my collection and then a mascara that I did not get a chance to review or talk about here I'm planning to purchase another one so I could do um that review video for you guys and it's from M Cosmetics and this is the lash gallery clean volume mascara this mascara is really really nice if you guys want something that's gonna make your eyelashes um look naturally voluminous like if you like wispy eyelashes the fake kind you're gonna love this mascara it's really really good and i believe this comes in a waterproof formula which i haven't tried but i got this um as a free incentive one order that i placed last year and i finally used it throughout the year and i absolutely love it and i always forgot to mention it but i grabbed it and want to show it to you guys it's definitely something that i will have for like an everyday mascara like if i don't want to think about it and just kind of go this is one that i definitely recommend for you guys i feel like kat von d this year killed it and anastasia beverly hills those two people were like I was just kind of like, oh, gotta try this, gotta try this. So here's the shade and light eye palette. And I have all the other ones, but this is the one that I have to say that I really wanted to mention because one, you can still get this palette and I feel like everyone can utilize this palette. And it's because it is a neutrals palette and it has all the different tones. So it's like warm, um, cool, and neutral. So you can just find what you need here or mix and match whatever you want. That's what I did today. I actually created this look using this palette and I used a little bit of everything. I went into the medium, neutral, and the warm and this is the look I came up with and I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. You will not regret it if you get it. And the other eyeshadow palette I had to pick from Anastasia because I pretty much have all of them. Um, I picked this one because I feel like this was the one that I used the most. And it's the World Traveler palette. And I know it's not available anymore. But the good thing about Anastasia is that a lot of her eyeshadows are um, individual individual singles is what I'm trying to say. So you can get them and I absolutely love this. I mean this set right here is just me. I did a look with this right here. I absolutely love this um, eyeshadow palette. I, re I reached for it like so many times that I had to tell myself, Eva, stop using it because um, people are going to get tired of you wearing it. You know, you can't keep wearing the same thing all the time. You got to give love to the other palettes, right? So <laughs> moving on to other palettes that I absolutely love was this Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette. I created so many looks with this, but in all honesty, I didn't post a lot of them because I wasn't completely happy with the way they came out. But nonetheless watch out for those because i will be trying to do more makeup um tutorials for you guys i'm just hoping to get a ring light soon so that i can be more satisfied with the picture quality and the lighting in my room please excuse that noise outside i can't do anything about that but the other palette that i gave a lot of love to was this coastal sense reveal 2 i got this in um a uh boxy charm box and i don't know what it was about mauves i was so into mauve looks this year i don't know what it was but this palette i absolutely love it this is another one that i could reach for like every day and just do something which um do a look what i want to say which is funny because i never picked up the naked too which is more of the rose tone because i didn't think it was like something that i could use on a daily but i have to say that even though this one is very mauve and rose i absolutely love it and then last but not least the one that i want to show you everyone should get this is the tartlet tart um, Tartlet Tarte Palette. Absolutely. First of all, I love the packaging. Look at that. I absolutely love it. And this is an all matte palette. And it's perfect for those of you out there who just love neutrals. And I have used this thing to death as well. It's been a constant favorite. And they just came out with a new one. It's called In The Bloom. And I want to get that one as well because I absolutely love Tarte. It's another one of my favorite brands. But if you guys haven't tried any of these palettes, I highly, highly recommend them. I absolutely love them. And it was really hard for me um, to narrow it down because I was going to have... I took out like four or five more and I was like, maybe that's too many palettes to show. Um, these are the ones that you really, really use the most even though you do love the other ones. So let's move on to the lip products that have quite a few things for you guys. So the first thing I want to show you guys for lip. Now, when you're going to do your lips, you have to have a good foundation. So if it wasn't for this Dr. Lip um, it's called original nipple balm for lips. This is like my fourth one that I bought seriously you guys I go to two of these a year and I think that's really good because it's $14 for this And this is a new one that I just opened up like a week ago. 
absolutely love this to put this on at night and a little bit in the morning because you guys know in the winter time especially if you live on the east coast your lips get to a little bit drier especially at the night time and this is a lifesaver i use this on my son's lips as well because he gets really dry lips as well especially if he doesn't drink the water the way he's supposed to but I always get on him about that because water is essential. That's another thing we need to do is drink with tons of water. So you need to start off with this if you haven't tried it. And then um, something that is new to my makeup regimen of putting on before um, I do my lip. Like, okay, let's back up. I put the, li the lip mint thing on in the morning time. By the time I come to do my makeup, when I'm working on my eyes, I put this on. This is the City Lips um, plumping thing. And I actually like it. It doesn't sting, so I really like that. And I find that it does make my lips look a little bit fuller because my lips are not small or big. They're like a nice medium. But I find that they get very, like, um, they say textured, but I say wrinkled. So I find that this helps smooth it out a little bit so it doesn't look so textured. I got this in, this is a Cruella. Um, I got this in a birthday thing from last year. I love this lip and I'm not a red lip person. If you know me, you'll be like, really? Red lips? This is such a pretty color. And it's just great every day. Hopefully you guys can see that's not too bright. And I absolutely love this shade. It, and this has lasted me quite a bit. So I'm going to really show these in, in no particular order. And um, I have to mention my MAC lip liners. I have one, two, is this three. Where's the other one? I have four of them here. Uh -huh, here's number four. These four colors have been in circulation constantly in my routines. So I have Vino, Night Moth, Be Spoken For, and Fashion Boost. I love these. I like Vino for more of my berry tones, and I like Night Moth for those really dark, vampy lips. And Be Spoken is nice for like if you have um, like a dark brown lip color. And this uh, Fashion Boost is great for like those fuchsia magenta type of lipsticks that you have i absolutely love my mac lip liners they are the best liners that i have and then another new liner that i started using is from urban decay and this is the ozone one i like this one uh, for putting on the outside of the lips like if i put on a red lip and i don't have a lip liner that matches so it doesn't bleed on the outside and it really does help that and i also like to use it with the liquid lipsticks that i'm going to show you next and these should not surprise anybody because i have been raving about these constantly and i have three shades for you and they're all by kat von d and i'm actually wearing um, um bow and arrow today this has become like my everyday color to wear when i have more of an intense eye look and then lolita i see what all the hype is about this is like the perfect lip color to it. Like let's say you want to wear a lip color that looks like your lip tone. And just like a little bit of mascara. This is the perfect lip to wear. And these are only $20. And this shade right here is called Damned, right? Damned. I had to tell myself to stop wearing this color because I never thought that I would be someone who likes such a vampy lip color. And I've done so many looks with this um, particular lip color. And I actually have to film quite a few of these for you wearing this lip color because I think it's like two or three looks that I did with this particular lipstick I absolutely love it and these are just my favorite I haven't tried any other liquid lips but so far these are the ones that I love and they are my go-to so I need to get more of these colors because I absolutely love this <sighs> it's just amazing love them liquid lipsticks were all the rage but I also love my lipsticks and this Urban Decay one <gasps> I absolutely love it it's called Sheer Lady Fire when I first tried the sample of this I was like oh no I have to get the full size of this and this is what that looks like and I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and I'm sorry if I'm not swatching everything, but I don't want this video to be like 15 minutes long because we guys, you know how much I can talk. And this is what that looks like right there. This is like the perfect color, I feel like, for the spring, summertime. And I like to take my Fashion Boost lip liner and just outline my lips with that and then put that on top. And it's just a beautiful combination. And then the other lipstick that I like to use with that lip liner, this is from NYX and it's the Butter Lipstick in um, Hunk, I think it is called, Hunk. This is like a purple lover's dream. I absolutely love this color. And it's very close to um, the lady flower color. But if you see, it's a little bit more intense. You see? I absolutely love it mixed in with that one. It's just amazing. I love that. And it's so creamy, both of them on the lips. And then I have two M Cosmetic lipsticks that I've used a lot this year. And one is Just Fab, which is a dark color. And the other one is Posh. But let me show you Posh first because it's in that family. And it's that mauve perfect lip tone color that everybody's loving. And this is it right here. But this is a little bit more um, deeper. I think it's more on the cool tone is what I'm trying to say right there. 
see it right there that's posh so you love it and these m cosmetic lipsticks are so so moisturizing even the matte ones this is a matte and this is just fab and this was that other lipstick that i was using a lot with a dand and i had to tell myself okay but you need to chillax with the dark lips but absolutely love it and here's the swatch of dan of see i'm confused of just fab right there and i believe our lipsticks are 15 dollars <laughs> So moving on to the next things will be what I've been using on my face and this has become a routine for me for what I use um, for foundation wise. And the primer that I used a lot this year was the Makeup Forever, the Step 1. This is the hydrating one and this is like my fourth one of this size because I've been getting these deluxe samples quite a bit. So I will definitely get the larger size but if you guys um, watch my video from last year it was the Napoleon Portis one. And I've been having a hard time finding that one so as soon as I have that one it will definitely be in my collection again because that is my holy grail one but this is the one that i used for 2015 and then the combination that i was using all the time on my face is the buxom show some skin foundation um in sweet as honey mixed in with the georgia armani um luminous silk foundation in 5.5 this combination together i absolutely love how it looks on my face like a lot of people say that this is just too expensive to get i think it's 62 or 65 dollars i'm not sure the exact price and this is like between 30 and 35 dollars so i really like this more for like an everyday kind of look like if you just want to use like a tinted moisturizer but with a little bit more coverage um and i like this as well because this gives you like a medium to full coverage depending on um, what kind of what you consider me to do full is what i'm trying to say but these two together just give me the perfect balance and i absolutely love it and this is a great foundation like if you have foundations in your home that you're not using because you don't like them or they're too dark definitely get a shade of this and a lighter shade and mix it and you're gonna thank me later because a lot of people say they don't like the foundation on its own but i happen to like it by itself and mix with this foundation so i absolutely love this combination it's been my go-to for the entire year Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my highlights and my blush because I don't have that many. Um, but we have to start it with this one and we all know who it's going to be by. And it's from Becca with Jaclyn Hill and it's the Champagne Pop. This thing sold out like hotcakes when it came out and I see why. And I feel bad when I see people who post on um, Facebook or Instagram that theirs is broken. I've been very, very careful with mine because I do not want baby to break. But I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can notice or not. This is a highlighter that I feel that everyone, if they can get their hands on it, should have. Um, I do know that recently they came up with like a trio uh, palette as well that she did. And it has this one and I think it has the copper one and an even lighter one. So definitely I highly recommend this thing. is amazing. I absolutely love it. It goes with those extra dramatic looks that I want. So the other one from Becca that I absolutely love, and this is a little mini one. I got this in a Sephora um, incentive as well, and this is Opal. And I see why this one was like so hyped up on YouTube, and some of you like it as well. I mean, I have to say that Becca is killing it with the highlighters. I absolutely love them. I think I want to get the other colors as well just to give them a shot. But like I said, I'm trying to really um, use up a lot of products that I have that I feel like I need to um, finish up because I've had them for quite some time. And the two blushes that I have for you guys today are both from MAC. And I don't know what it was about these two blushes. When I couldn't decide what to wear, I always got these on my face. And this is a Max uh, Sweetest Cocoa. And I blame Steph from SMX. XL, I think that's her channel. I'll have it down below. She used to wear this all the time, especially for the summertime, and it was on my list forever to buy. And I'm so happy that I purchased it because this is a blush for me that you can easily bronze up your cheeks with. You can even um, contour with it, and it could just be like a blush all around, and you're good to go. Like you know, when you want those blushes, you kind of just apply it, and you just go, and you want to look like you're a little bit put together. Definitely recommend that one. Blush is from Mac as well, and this one's called Blush Baby, and this is such a beautiful. Um, blush it looks like it's really nothing but it's just amazing and I got this because of Karen from makeup and beauty blog she loves this blush and she always had it on her Mac things that you have to unsung heroes I think is what she called it and I absolutely love that blush it's amazing so those two blushes and those two highlighters are constant rotation in all of my makeups that I wore throughout this year now I need to mention these two items together because it, I didn't use one without the other and this is holy girl this is my Mac um, if you think I remember the name, I always forget. Studio Finish Concealer NW30. This concealer, 
as you can see has a huge like a dent and i use it all the time I use it today um i love the pro line wear as well but i found that this shirt i really just stuck to that one absolutely love it and then i have to mention this and it's from kat von d this is the shade and light contra palette um that's why i love to show this because I actually always set now my concealer with this middle shade right here and this is the next thing I wanted to talk about because I have forgotten about any other bronzer contour grade that I have this has been the only one that I have been using I use all three shades depending on what I'm feeling that day if I need a deeper contour I'll go with this one and then sometimes I mix these two sometimes I just use this one or that one but nonetheless I really just use the entire palette absolutely love it I feel that if you are a beginner, you should definitely um, try this one out. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. You will not regret it. It just, it's really good. And I have it on again today. I'll start off with the nail polish of morning. If you guys can see right there. This is from Allure um, collaboration. They were Butter London. And this one's called Violet's Revenge. I got this in Allure Beauty Box. Absolutely love this nail polish. It's just the perfect uh like cobalt purple color I absolutely love it it's great and i really wish they had it in um available now because i don't think it's available it was limited edition but i absolutely love it and i don't know what it was this year i was into like malls for my eyes and my lips but when it came to my nails i was really into like the blue tones which i don't know what that's about because i'm typically not someone who likes blue nail polish but anyways i'm going to show you this second one and this is boho blues from china glaze um i don't remember who was that posted a picture of this but i was like okay i gotta get this i think it was nicole from young wild and polish and i absolutely love this shade it's like a beautiful cornflower blue which i never thought i would like it but i absolutely love that shade and the other blue one that i got is called <laughs> saltwater taff no right saltwater happy i want to say taffy um saltwater happy from se absolutely love this shade it's amazing i absolutely love it and i posted a picture on my instagram because i did like an inspired um uh, for the mark jacobs daisy one the one the white um is white and blue with the daisies on it I absolutely love this it's beautiful color for the springtime and then the other color from essie which is not blue but i love it because it's white but it has like shimmer in it and it's called private weekend that's the other nail polish that I wore a lot. And if I didn't wear it, I, I used it for a lot of accenting on my nails as well. And then the last nail polish I have for you guys is from Trust Fun Beauty. And this one is called Elegantly Wasted. Now, the first time I saw this nail polish was on Katie from Lustre Lux. And when I saw it, I'm like, I need to have this polish. And I was so happy when Ipsy sent it to me in my bag. And I was like, yes. And I actually was wearing this last week. And I was going to wear it again. But then I decided to wear the Violet's Revenge because I just was feeling it. So I put that on today. And then the two things that I've been using consistently whenever I do a manicure on myself is my Sechevite. I absolutely love this. Uh, Matoa, I run out. It'll be what I be, will be using, what I'm trying to say. And then the SC Apricot Cuticle. All this stuff has saved my cuticles because um my cuticles have been really bad so i have been bad about wearing my gloves when i wash dishes and it's really causing havoc on my hands so i put this on and it instantly gets rid of these hang nails that i get and it makes my cuticles look so much better <laughs> the first thing i'm going to show you guys for skincare is from mac and i've repurchased so many of these um this is probably i don't know like number eight of this one that i have because i back to mac quite a few of these and this is the fix plus i get them in the mini because it's easier for me to spray and it's not like you can open it and fill it up because if you could do that i would just buy the big one and pour it in here but this is just great to just pre moisten your face with it and kind of freshen yourself up before you do your makeup and also i use it to set my makeup as well i absolutely love it this stuff is just great and i have to stick this one in my back to mac bag because it's already done and one thing this holy girl style is this is like my second yes yeah, my second actually my third one because i bought two for myself and one for my mom and this is the embryo's lat creme concentrate i absolutely love this this is like i see why they say this is a makeup artist dream because if you have someone that has dry skin you literally just take this and you put it on and it just replenishes their face and also if someone has like um normal skin like it's not dry this is really good too so it's very versatile i absolutely love it and it's great and it, you don't need that much like seriously a i'm gonna say like a depending on where you're using it the most i use is like a quarter size amount and that's just for my face and my neck so i use it everywhere and this stuff is really really good it's a little pricey maybe for some people but you get what you pay for and i feel like the things you should really invest in is definitely skincare because if your skin doesn't look good it doesn't matter how nice your makeup is it just looks like crap 
he loves to be honest about that so another thing this like holy girl that i use constantly and this is i've repurchased so many of these and this is from mary Kay, and this is the intense moisturizing cream um i absolutely love this if you guys can see this one is empty i closed it too tight it's like i have like one more use for tonight and this is like something that i reach for for the winter time so i need to hurry up and get another one because i actually was caught off guard that this i use this up so quickly and i need a new one because i absolutely love this it's just amazing and then the other thing that i've been using is from ponds this is the rejuvenesce and i got this in a walmart beauty box and i think i have like maybe two or three uses left in this as you can see and this is really good because um it really just hydrates the face and i feel like anyone can use this whether you have dry skin normal skin oily skin combination skin i feel like everyone can use this because it's moisturizing but it's not to the point where it feels greasy or it feels like um it's just too much for your face so i'm just it's a nice light um moisturizer but it does a lot of it packs a punch is what i'm trying to say it's really deep and penetrating as well <laughs> So the next skin thing that I've been using a lot is this Estee Lauder. And this is a little mini and I have a backup. I got this one in a birch box, um, the October box. And I got another one in a glossy box. So I'm really happy that I have a backup because now when this one's finished, I could use that one. So I'm trying to say. And this is all that I have left of it. I'm really sad to say that. But it's something I've been using consistently. And I absolutely love it. It just feels so good because it gives you that instant like hydration because it's like it feels like a gel and a cream but it's not a gel which for me gel cream gel creamers gel cream it doesn't sound right gel moisturizers that they say are targeted for dry skin do not work for me for some reason they just start to flake off but anyways this one doesn't do that and this is the revising supreme global anti-age cream and i saw online that they actually actually have an eye cream and i'm thinking of trying that one out as well because i do like this quite a bit and um the other thing that i use for my face is this uh Derma Clear Micro Water from Dr. Dre Plus. This is my second bottle, and this is pricey, it's thirty-two dollars. But this particular size lasted me four to six months. I'm not sure exact time frame. And this is my second bottle, like I said, and I've been using this now for like two weeks. And look how much I've used. It just it lasts quite a bit, in my opinion. I like to use it um, to take my makeup off, and I like to use it. Um, right after wash my face so I could really make sure that it's like kind of like a toner situation and um absolutely love it and then the other thing I've been using a lot is this um glam glow these have changed my life on doing masks because I'm gonna admit it I have been really really bad about masking my face and this mask is just phenomenal i love the dual cleanse one that one's really good that one leaves my skin really really soft as well i find that one's even better for like taking out blackheads and the hydrating one the one in the blue oh, i love that one so much as well it leaves your skin so so soft and um quenched is the right word for it and i like to use it especially at night and sleep with it and wake up the next day my skin is just it's soft as a baby's bottom absolutely love it and i think that's everything that i have for skin hair i just want to make sure because i did have to move stuff around a bit um yeah but that's everything that i have for you guys for skincare i'm going to talk about hair care the things that i use throughout the year and this shampoo and this conditioner is just amazing and these are from beaver professionals and they're from the hydro line and i got this in a birch box and this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner and I'm going to repurchase this in the full size as soon as I'm done with all the other little samples that I have. But this is the one that I absolutely love and I kept reaching for. And I'm sorry that it's empty because I think it is amazing. And the other shampoo and the conditioner that I used, um, not throughout the whole year, but through quite a few months. And I actually posted a review video for you guys. And this is from the... Um, Pura de Oro line and this is the conditioner which is a lot lighter because I use too much of it and then this is the the shampoo and it's really helped with my hair loss I absolutely love it I have a lot of less shedding and as you guys can see I finally got my brother to open up these little pumps for me so it's so much easier in the shower but I absolutely love it and they smell so good especially this conditioner Oh, it smells so good and it's so so relaxing and then the other things for styling that i've been using one of them i'm completely out of but it lasts me quite a bit and i need to get a new one and it's from carol's daughter so excuse how it looks uh, but it's from <laughs> carol's daughter like i said and it's the hair balm and it's the liquid pomade this stuff is so good for flyaways if you guys tend to get a lot of flyaways you definitely should pick this up i absolutely love it i use it in my son's hair too so i definitely need to get another bottle because we have both been needing some of that i used the last bit of it today to tame these flyaways that i get whenever i use the flat iron 
And then the other thing that I'm so happy that I got this full size. And it's from Briojo. And this is the Rosarco Milk. And I got this in a pop sugar box. So I was really happy. Because I have a little mini one. And that's actually in my empties bag. Which I need to film that video for you guys. And this stuff is amazing. It just leaves your hair so soft. And it smells so good. And it's a great like pre before you blow dry your hair. And then after I blow dry my hair. And after I've um, used the flat iron if I use it. I like to go on with this Macadamia Nourishing Moisture Oil Treatment. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's so silky and soft. And what I like about it for me, it's kind of like a cross between an oil and a serum. But it doesn't feel silicone-y. So if you haven't tried this, definitely give this a try. And I got this in a birch box, I believe. And I absolutely love it. I think this is great for the hair. And I think that's all the hair care stuff that I have for you guys. Let's talk about tools that I use. Um, I use so many foundation brushes. I have like quite a few but there were two in particular that I use and this is one of them and I'm so happy that I found it I really thought I lost this and it was actually in my empties um, bag which I was so excited that I found it um, but it's from Real Techniques this brush has been like if you have to try one brush from theirs for the face you need to get this expert face brush this stuff is amazing. You can use it for cream contouring. It's great for buffing in any kind of like product in your face, whether it's a moisturizer or tinted moisturizer or foundation. I absolutely love this brush and it's drugstore and it's super inexpensive. I think it's like anywhere from nine to ten dollars depending where you get it. But I absolutely love it. And I like also that it has like a flat bottom so you could just stand it up if you need to stand it up. The other thing that I use a lot for my foundation application is the Beauty Blender. This is the Pro one. I haven't tried the pink one, so I don't know how that works or any other the colors, but this is the one that I like, and this is so easy to clean. My tip to you is just to take it and make a little bath of soapy water, um, whether it is, is the beauty blender cleanser that you use, or me personally, I've been using the Dawn dish soap. I just put a little bit, and I soak it in, and I just kind of squish it, you know, pump it like that in my hand, and then put it back in, and I leave it, and then I just wash it, and it comes out perfectly clean. Like right now, it's dirty because, like I said, I used it just to do my makeup today. The other brushes I'm going to show you are also dirty. They're from Sigma, and I do apologize for that because I typically don't show dirty brushes. And these are from Sigma, and this is the 3 HD Kabuki. This has changed the game in how you apply foundation. I'm going to suggest to you, ladies, if you are a makeup artist, they, these come in different colors too. Um, and different color barrels. <clears throat> I'll have a link down below if you guys want to go check it out. This changes the game and how you apply your makeup for yourself because it just literally glides on your face. And if you're doing a customer, you know, if you're a makeup artist, like I said, it's just going to make it so much easier for you to just buff in the product. I feel like it, it just it's just effortless to use this brush. So if you're looking for a brush from Sigma to try for the face, definitely give this one a try. I think you absolutely love it. And I love that it has the different color options. And then along with that, I picked up the 3D HD Precision brush. And this is the smaller one. And I opted to get the white one because I have all my brushes are black. So I just wanted to give it a try. And I absolutely love, and I absolutely love Sigma brushes. And um, the other brush that I use a lot in combination for my face. Like I said, they're dirty. I'm sorry about that. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. This is like the perfect for applying blush. Like I still have a little blush on there. And absolutely love it. It's so soft. Reminds me of a bunny tail. And these are drugstore prices. And Sam and Nick hit it at the ballpark with these brushes. I want to get more of them. But they're always sold out. So that should tell you how phenomenal they are. This is perfect for buffing in any blush. Like you could take the most pigmented blush. Dab it lightly in there and just it buffs it right out nicely. And you won't have like a big splotch. And like, I'm like oh my god I look like a clown. This is the perfect blush brush to use when you want to put any kind of blush on and then my Kat Von D brush this thing has been in rotation in my makeup collection since I purchased it and that's why it's dirty because I did my contouring with it today from the Kat Von D and then I did my highlighting under my eyes with it you know setting it and then I cleaned it off and I used my Becca um champagne pop as well this thing is amazing i'm not one to like uh dual ended brushes but if you have to get a brush that will work and work for you to contour and highlight you should definitely pick this one up i have not been disappointed i think it was uh 30 bucks and it comes in a really cute coffin case which i have put away right now but i used to have it out on display before which i might be bringing it back because i do need to um what's that called 
I do need to reorganize my room and everything and that's something else that I'm working on for you guys and then this brush is like super dirty but this is a holy grail brush everyone needs to get if you have to get one eye brush from Sigma it's this one and it's the E25 because this brush will buff out your crease buff in a dark color on your lid and you could do your entire look with just this one brush and it's the E25 it is amazing i absolutely love it so those are my brushes that i absolutely love and i will continue using until i find something that's better and then to clean those brushes i use my mac brush cleaner this is the cleaner that i like i've tried other stuff but i feel like that is the best thing for me and i absolutely love it okay well, so that's everything that i have for you guys for my best of beauty of 2015 i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section what were some of your favorites for 2015 so that i can check them out if i haven't tried them already and again i just wanted to say i do apologize for the inconsistency in my video where i might have my glasses on it's a little too bright or a little too dark whatever because i was having some issues with the light it kept going in and out on me the sun but i do apologize that's something that i am working on i'm hoping that this year i will get a ring light so i won't have this inconsistent light and the other thing that I am doing is I have a project of changing things around like um, you know for you guys like when you background whatever I'm not gonna do glitter background if you guys wanted that because I thought I think it's really cool for other people that would be too much um, what's it called uh, physical activity for me like I could not physically set up a backdrop like that every single day I would need someone to help me so if I had someone to help me yes I would definitely have a glitter background like that because I think it looks crazy cool when people have that in their videos so anyways i'm gonna let you guys go maybe i'll do update video and let you guys know what my plans are with my channel and that kind of thing if you guys are interested let me know down below but i'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy your rest <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your days what i'm trying to say bye